Awesome. Hey guys, it's me, Jeff. Welcome to the corner. I'm super excited today. Today's the day. Let me let me back up a little bit because like I'm just like blown away right now. So um, I'm just gonna check my notes here. About a week or so ago, there's been a lot of activity going on in the trunk CC. Okay. Now what's been happening is that. There's been some stuff happening on the Discord, um, the Troxy Discord. I'll actually leave a link below. Thank you, Christmas, for setting that up. And I want to put a special shout out to Soy for kind of getting the ball rolling on all of this. Okay, so recently, about a week ago or so, Troxy released their source code for the V10 boards. It's for both their chips, the STM32s and the GD32s. What happened is now Troxy has set up um, a GitHub with their code on it. And it, as you saw in the intro, it allows you to flash to direct Marlin firmware. Now, Troxy firmware is actually Marlin firmware anyways, but they give you the standard GUI, so you get a lot more options on how to customize it, which I think is just fantastic. I actually think it's a really good marketing move for Troxy that has allowed their users, and they're gonna get a lot more sales because of this, to actually you want to use Troxy firmware, not screw with your printer, it's working great for you, great. If you're more an advanced user and you want to tweak some stuff and whatnot, you can run Marlin right out of the box, basically. All you got to do is compile it, throw it on, and you're good to go. So I'm going to show you right now. All right, guys. So here we go. Here is the Troxy GitHub. Now, if you look down below, when you see the activity, you will see quite literally they open this sucker up on October 26th. So it's been about a week that they've actually just done this and added all these source codes in. So I'm gonna show you real quick here. So this would be the source code for all of these printers. XY2 Pro, XY2 Pro 2E, and the DO1 Plus, the XY3 SEs, all of those guys are right here gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to compile. You need to download VS Code. Literally all you do, and I will show you right now. So in your Marlin directory, you're gonna go into Tronxy Machines. And you're basically just gonna go and define your printer from the list that's right here. So say so you wanted the, the D01, you could just copy it. And paste. So yeah, again, so you just want to go build and compile. It will build and compile your firmware. And that's it. It's as simple as that. They made it really easy and really straightforward to deal with. So you have the main branch. And then you have the small one for the crux. So hopefully people, we can ask some more for any printers that are on the list and they'll fill this GitHub. I have the crux and as you saw in the intro, how I was able to flash it. I have the G32 chip, so I had to follow a few extra steps, but it works like a charm. So yeah, try it out. Leave comments below, please. So yeah, so there you go. Tronxy's done all the work. Um, they had a push, I believe. As I said, there's some stuff going on. You can check the Discord out uh, for a lot of that information. But regardless, it's out there. The V10 board source code, which is absolutely fantastic. There's a bucket load of printers that all run this. The firmware is super easy to use. It's modular. You just put in what printer you want, compile it, you're good to go. So. What can I say? <laughs> I'm just so happy about this. It's been a long time in the making. So Tronxy, uh, Lisa, thank you for sharing the GitHub with me. As I say, your marketing, you know, you guys are doing the right thing by doing this. You're gonna sell a crap load more printers because people will have the ability to customize them how they want. You guys are truly open source now. Thank you so much for this. Um, and to the rest of you, I just wanna say, thanks for tuning into my channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, you're cruising through the channel. Hit subscribe. Until next time, guys, you guys are going to have so much fun with this. We'll talk to you later, okay?